Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve a numerical problem of the soil mechanics, and it states that a soil sample has a wide ratio of 0.6. The degree of saturation for this soil sample is 85%, and specific gravity of 2.70. And it has been asked to find the water content of the soil sample. So this is, this is a very simple problem. We have some given data for our problem here. The given data is for the soil sample we know the wide ratio which is E 0.6 and then the degree of saturation of the soil sample which is 85%. So it is represented by S and is equal to 85% if we change into decimal so it will be 0 0.85 if we convert the percentage into decimal so dividing this by 100 so we got here 0 0.85 if we divide this by 100 so it will be 0 0.85 now the specific gravity of the soil sample is also given to us which is represented by g s and it is equal to 2.70 so this is the specific gravity of the soil sample and we are asked to find the water content for this soil sample so water content is unknown to us. Now there are some formulas where we can find out the uh, water content of the soil sample and one of the most common formula in soil mechanics is this one that specific gravity into water content is equal to the wide ratio multiplied with the degree of saturation. This is one of the formula used to find out the different parameters. So here if we look to this formula we have specific gravity is given to us the wide ratio is given to us and the degree of saturation of the soil sample is given to us. So the only known here, unknown is here is water content. So we can use this formula in order to find out our water content of the soil sample. If for example, if here the wide ratio is not unknown to us or some other values, then we should look into another formula. But here all are known to us. So we can simply have find out the water content will, which will be equal to the E multiplied by the degree of saturation divided by the specific gravity of soil sample. So I just shift out these values and then putting the values E is 0 0.6 which is given to us. Degree of saturation is 0 0.85 and specific gravity of the soil sample is 2.70. So if we find out, so it comes out to be 0 0.188 which means if you multiply this with 100% so it means it is 18. Point 8% so this is the water content of this soil sample with the known parameters of specific gravity to 0 0.70 degree of saturation 0 0.85 and power wide ratio of 0 0.60 hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video